bother most of you, but what I'm about to say now is going to unzip some of you. What I'm about to say in my mind and in my heart from the Word of God, I believe is one of the most damnable doctrines of all. Now don't get a belief on me. You're running out doesn't make it any more true. It'll still be a lie after you leave. And it's this. It is the doctrine. Hold your breath now. Some of you wish you had your hundred dollars back, don't you? You have a television set up in bed. Listen. It is the doctrine, damnable, hellish, of unconditional eternal security. That says you can get saved and turn your back on God, walk out on Jesus Christ, never serve Him, curse His name, live a life of libation and licentiousness and license and filth and rot. And as one precious Baptist brother told me the other day, and I love him, and he was years my senior, and he was a godly man, and I spoke to him gently. And I said, sir, are you trying to tell me that when the trump of God sounds, uh, that if a person has once been saved, and even though they might have turned their back on God years and years ago, they might be in a house of ill fame committing adultery, they might be cursing and telling dirty jokes, and they might be drunk, but when the trump sounds, they're going in the rapture? He looked at me and dropped his head and said, yes, let you... Yep, he got it right. I have sinned against you, my Lord. And I would ask that your precious blood would wash and cleanse every stain until it is in the seas of God's forgetfulness. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. do 100 bucks man 100 bucks to listen to that for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness but unto us which are saved it is the power of God grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. You're sealed. You're secure. You have eternal security. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Once saved, always saved, is the gospel of Jesus Christ. You wish you had your hundred dollars back, don't you? 